Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. As part of Pivotal Web Services or uh, PCS, in this video I will try to cover how to deploy a Spring uh, app in using uh, uh, Cloud Foundry on Pivotal Web Services. So, to get the code for the Spring uh, Spring based application, you can go to this GitHub account called github.com Pivotal Enablement. So, may, uh, please understand that this video is not about Spring um, or Java, it's about how to deploy a Java uh, application that is developed using Spring based frameworks. So, once you go to this Pivotal Enablement uh, GitHub account and scroll down, there is a package called Hotels. So, we will try to, a uh, repository called Hotels. So, we will try to download this repository onto our PC, build it into a jar file and then we will try to deploy it in the cloud foundry so either you can use git command line interface uh, interface or command line uh, git clone command to uh, uh, clone it onto your pc or you can click on download which will download the the entire hotels package in the form of a jar file uh, sorry a zip file and then you have to unzip in the appropriate directory wherever you want to play this uh, um, uh, code and from there you can build it I will be using uh, command line uh, uh, interface to clone it. So the command looks like this, git clone and paste the link which you got it in the uh, uh, git website here. Okay, and hit enter, it will download the code base from the GitHub, um, you have to connect to internet. Once you clone it, you will see a directory called hotels here. Okay, and if you get into hotels and uh, if you do ls minus ltr, you see the pom.xml. So, this project is actually using Maven internally to maintain the repositories, and uh, also you can uh, run find dot minus name star. So, it will give all the files that are there. If you see, most of the files uh, are um, git based files which you can ignore. And then you see three Java files in source main Java uh, uh, directory, hotel.java, hotel repository.java and spring boot hello world application.java. So we'll use this code base to build into a jar file and we will deploy it into PWS using Cloud Foundry. Okay. Uh, to, to build it, you need to install Maven. I hope you already have Maven. If not, you have to do it. Once you have Maven, uh, you have to be in the directory where your pom.xml file is for this repository. In this case, pom.xml is directly under hotels and hence you can say command called mvn package and hit enter. So it will download all the binaries or jar files that are required to build this spring based uh, application uh, and it will create a jar file for you. Uh, depending upon the internet, it will take, um, it can take enormous amount of time as well. Uh, here it is done it is downloaded uh, sorry it is compiled the code is uh, the, the code is already compiled and it has created a uh, jar file uh, in the target location now if you see um, the output of ls minus ltr you see a new directory called target and if you do ls minus ltr on target you can see a jar file over here so this is the jar file which we will use to deploy Okay, now you, you have to be on the hotels directory um, and then you have to run the cf push command. Okay, first let us see the options uh, uh, under cf push, hit enter. So there are a few options which you, uh, you have to consider. In this case we have to pass the jar file and it is under target location. To pass the path um, of the jar file you have to use the minus p parameter unlike uh, earlier we just say cf push and the application name here we have to give cf push application name minus p and path of our jar file uh, which, uh, which is compiled by the maven package command which we ran just before and also if we want to give app name as hotels there could be many people who might have tried this already and uh, you you can get into the collision uh, 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 with them uh, for, uh, with respect to your routes. Route is the one which uh, uh, is the URL which you will use to connect to the application. 
for that reason you have to you can also use a parameter called minus minus random root so whatever uh, application name you give and whatever domain name it uses cfs.io in this case in between it will uh, randomly generate a unique uh, route for you by appending a string to that so we will see that so we will use minus p to give the path of our uh, jar file which is target and then uh, what is our jar file hotels 001 snapshot.jar and also I am giving random route here and hit enter now you will see that route is uh, will be a unique string and it will be able to deploy it without complaining that the application already exists you can see that uh, the route is hotels biographical serviceability I don't know why they have added the it's randomly added so you you don't you don't need to worry about it now you can see that the the file the jar file is uploaded into the uh, uh, cloud uh, uploading is done now it will download the build packs by looking at the extension of dot jar it starts using the java build pack what java build pack does is it will create the runtime environment using um, uh, using uh, uh, tomcat and then it will create a droplet the droplet will be a com uh, is nothing but a complete packaged runtime environment which includes your code and also the application server which is uh, uh, tomcat by default so that droplet will be uploaded and it will be uh, uh, created as a container on the cloud and that container will be working for you um, as a uh, um, that container will be serving the client requests uh, which will be uh, taken care once the deployment is done now you can see that droplet is already uploaded so you the container will be uh, created and uh, it will try to start the container once the container is started you can start accessing the um, our accessing our spring based application you can go to pws now and uh, uh, already you can see that uh, two applications are running one is hotels the uh, application name is hotels but the route is hotels biographical serviceability you can click on this link this is uh, uh, this will not show you any uh, uh, information but it will actually try to get some data from uh, uh, from a in-memory database which is uh, already there as part of the code so if you look into the code it uses h2 which is nothing but in memory database and um, then it will uh, uh, give you a file which which needs to be downloaded when you try to access that link uh, when we click this it have downloaded a file and you can open this up and you can see it's nothing but a json file that's the functionality of the of our web application it will just throw some data based upon the uh, um, based upon the url it's it's not a full blown uh, uh, web application it's we are just simulating um, uh, something to to actually uh, um, uh, host an application on the pivotal web services which is uh, developed using spring based frameworks and also uh, the so and also you can click on this link to see further details about uh, this application okay so this is the uri which you will be using you can take this one and also this application if you get into the code it also supports another url called config props which is which stands for config properties better you give http in the beginning it will download all the configuration properties of your uh, uh, um, of, of your application and you can see that it is using something called H H HSQL DB which is nothing but H2 uh, which is nothing but in-memory database so what this app is doing is or uh, web application is doing is it is trying to generate some data in the in-memory database and then uh, providing uh, 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 reading data in the form of JSON format you can also use the URL called hotels and click enter and it will again uh, ask you to save the file you can click on ok and then open the file you can see uh, some data which is already inserted into that h2 database being read in the form of uh, uh, 
json also you can click on this and go to source main java com pivotal web enablement and then click on hotel java you can see what all uh, urls it, are, it is supporting um, by actually going through the code so most of them use a spring embedded code so you, you will not see the direct uh, uh, details uh, when you go through the code for example if you click on source main uh, java com pivotal enablement you don't see anything specific to connecting to database uh, 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 etc in the code but if you uh, actually look at this uh, uh, hotel repository it is actually extending something called jpi repository uh, which is a, a spring framework class which has some default uh, capabilities which it is using uh, to um, uh, to show you the data so to to see the uh, supported endpoints you can click here there are three hotels config props and uh, env okay hotels will give you the uh, hotels in a json format env will give the environment details so in the hotels let's say env and hit enter uh, so this this is all about environment uh, uh, details so like that you can actually uh, uh, access this uh, uh, um, application uh, hotels which is deployed using cf onto pivotal web services also if you want to scale as we have done earlier you can just say scale app and then you can decrease the memory if you want let me decrease it to 128 mb and let me make it four instances click on save click on scale then it will uh, uh, scale up the application within no time it is still starting oh it says crashed i think 128 mb is not good enough let me change it to 256 mb and save scale you have to wait until it is it is changed to running state all of them have to change to running state and then uh, we will um, test the routes with uh, uh, the endpoints such as env and see if it is actually talking with uh, uh, multiple containers all these things we have done with the php based application also uh, we will be doing that even with the spring based application again it is crashed in, in this time i am trying to do 512 mb with two instances i hope this time it will start now you can see that it is running uh, on one of the instances on other one it is still starting let's wait until it is done and then we will validate uh, whether it is talking to both the instances or not now it is uh, up and running we will go to env and uh, refresh this one you can see this instance id uh, will change depending upon which instance it is talking to now you see this one 0c 102d8 and now you see it's a separate one so there are two instances so those instance ids will be changing because our application is talking to uh, multiple containers not just one container our requests are actually uh, served by multiple containers not just one container as we scaled it up so this is how you can uh, scale up and validate and also if you want to scale it down you can just decrease it and save it now one of them will be killed automatically and as we have seen earlier you can also say cf logs hotels recent and it will give all the recent logs for this uh, uh, hotels app and also if you want to connect to the instance you can just say cf ssh hotels uh, if you have multiple instances you can say minus i and zero for first instance one for second instance etc yeah we have only one instance we can say minus i zero and it will take you to the uh, uh, container uh, which is uh, supporting our application called hotels now you are in the uh, um, uh, uh, container 
which have operating system uh, Ubuntu by running Ubuntu -A, you can get the operating system version and also you can say ps minus ef and hit enter uh, you can see that there is a java build pack application running in a jvm uh, to serve our uh, request uh, with, uh, for our spring based java application so this is how you can validate uh, everything uh, with respect to spring uh, so that's it for this video we will see other topics also going forward uh, so far we have set up the account we have deployed uh, yeah, uh, uh, we uh, uh, we have deployed uh, a PHP based application and a Spring based application. We have seen features such as uh, uh, scaling up, scaling down, and also we have uh, got into little bit details uh, about how it works internally. And in the process, we are also learning uh, CF commands. Uh, we already explored several of them, starting from CF Fox spaces. Uh, several commands in apps uh, to uh, um, such as push logs uh, ssh etc and we will start uh, learning so many things as it evolves that being said i hope you are liking the content um, uh, of the channel especially this video if you like it please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback please use the comment section of the video if you uh, um, uh, have any questions go to stack overflow and tag the questions appropriately uh, to uh, get the uh, your answers uh, your questions an answered quickly and if you want to discuss more about the cloud um, you can join my linkedin group i am trying to pull all the uh, people who are interested in uh, cloud and infrastructure there is a group called it versity cloud and virtualization uh, infrastructure you can uh, send a request to join i will accept and finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.